you know, it's it's fucked up, man. It really is, like, for real. This bullshit with attacking me needs to fucking stop. Like, legit, ever since I fucking ripped on that asshole doing what I did yesterday, I've been getting nothing but fucking bullshit from it. And I want to make one thing very clear. I had every fucking reason to do what I did. You know, I tried letting this shit go. I really did. Like, I honestly got to try to let it go. Yeah, I tried letting it go and moving on from it, but apparently some people can't seem to let the fucking shit go. So allow me to explain something to you. The reason why I dissed on Alexander yesterday in front of everyone like I did is because he crossed a very major line. He sat there and in a conversation with me, he sat right there. And straight out told me in a phone conversation, which you guys heard yesterday, that he has every right to judge people that he doesn't know just because he has musical experience and that he has years and years of fucking, you know, musical whatever under his fucking belt. This shit needs to fucking stop, dude. So Alexander and your little friends, y'all need to back the fuck off. I fucking had it, dude. Like, I tried moving on from this shit. Y'all are acting like fucking children. Y'all need to grow the fuck up. And here's a lesson for you. If you don't like my music, don't fucking listen. But that does not give you the right to fucking bash on my friends and family. There is a difference between bashing on my friends and family and bashing on my music. They are two different things. Two different things. And if y'all want to know what's going on on YouTube, I will post the link to the fucking video where I did a fucking track showing them that, you know, I'm not going to take their shit. So if y'all do have YouTube, feel free to comment on the YouTube video, which I'm about to post. Which, it'll be in the comments right now. I'm putting it in the comments for you guys to check out. And yes, I dissed on Alexander via YouTube for a very good fucking reason. Hey, what's up, Gar? Thanks, bro. It's good to see you, buddy. But if you guys want to know what happened, yesterday, this guy named, if you guys aren't up to speed on what happened and why I'm making this video, yesterday, this guy named Alexander bashed on one of my songs. All right, no big deal. But then he proceeded to say that it was garbage and that, you know, my friends and family were only blowing smoke up my ass. Saying that I'm not that good. Saying that they were just being nice. And when I confronted him about it, you know, and I confronted him peacefully at first. I was like, look, dude, you need to stop talking shit about my friends and family. You need to shut the fuck up and stop bashing on when you don't know them. Well, he proceeded to then say, you know, some pretty fucked up things. And I called him straight up. I would admit, I voice called him. And I asked him, I was like, hey, dude, like, you know, it's one thing to, you know, bash on my music. You know, I don't care if you rip on my music. Not everybody has the same taste in music. But for you to bash on my friends and family like that, what gives you that right? And his exact words, I shit you not, were because I have years and years of musical study and musical experience. And I cut him off right as he was done saying that, I told him, I was like, no, that fucking does not. And he's like, yes, it does, and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, dude, no, it doesn't. Like, you need to get to know the person before you fucking start bashing on him. Like, my friends and family are not blowing smoke up my ass. 
I've had people that I don't even know send messaging me and saying that they like my work. But this motherfucker not only proceeded to do that, but after he did that, I'll admit. Because there is one lesson that I learned in life. And it's completely true. You can tell a lot a lot about a person just by one com- one phone call conversation with him. And right after I got done with him on the phone with him, I knew everything I needed to know about him. I knew what he was about. I knew what he was out for. And I knew what he had intended to do. And Alan, I'm not even done. I haven't even gotten to your ass yet, little punk bitch. And if you guys don't know, this Alan guy, he even came on there and commented on some of my stuff. And you want to know something, Alan? Your fucking bullshit comment doesn't phase me. I've had people tell me that my shit's trash all the fucking time. It's nothing new to me. But here's the fucking facts, little homie. If you do your math correctly and add up all the years I've been doing music, seriously, if you add up all the years that I've been doing music and all the fans that I've gained over the years from all the names that I've gone by, because I have had to switch up my names due to legal issues and, you know, a bunch of shit that had happened in the past. But if you add up all my fans that I've had since day one, I got double the fucking fans that that little bitch has. And even more fans than you got, Alan. So why don't you shut your fucking little bitch ass up and then come to me when you have proof of your fans. I have proof of my fans. Take a look on Google, motherfucker. Google my name. I'm on there. So, you want to talk shit? Talk shit about me once your name gets on Google, little faggot ass bitch. Why don't you go ahead and talk about me then? I've got a name for myself, unlike your little fucking raggedy ass. And just because, exactly, dude, music ain't your career, Alan. Exactly, Alan. You're a fucking, you're following this guy. You need to fucking stop and open your damn eyes, bro. Just because you think that my music is trash? Dude, I have more than one fucking style, bro. Dude, I do rap. I do dubstep. I do punk rock. I do classical shit. I do a little bit of everything, dude. So take a listen to my other shit. Before you go off and judge me and then come back and say my sh- my stuff is shit. But that's not the point here. Whether you think my stuff is shit or not, that's on you. I have nothing against you if you do think it's shit. But what I do have a thing against is the fact that you're sitting here standing up and defending this Alexander guy. His morals are beyond fucked up, Alan. You need to open your damn eyes and look at what this dude's doing. He sits there and says that just because, you know, he has musical experience and years of musical study under his belt, that it gives him the right to judge people however he sees fit when that's not right. And But just because you grew up with him, dude, and know what he's been through, that still doesn't give him any more right to judge people based off of what they think about my stuff. He basically is telling me that all my friends and family are stupid for liking my shit. That's exactly what he's saying, Alan. So honestly, bro, you need to stop following this guy. It don't matter whether you've known him for years or not. His morals are clearly not in the right spot. But honestly, though, this bashing needs to fucking stop. Y'all need to grow the fuck up and let it go. If y'all don't like my music, fine by me. I don't give a shit. At the end of the day, I'm still going to be doing my music no matter what. At the end of the day, I'm still going to be the same person. Why haven't y'all learned by now that the bullshit y'all talk and the shit y'all are doing to me with these attacks, it don't fucking phase me. But here's the thing, Alan. 
here is the thing. See, that's where you're wrong, Alan. I asked him for his opinion on my song. Where he crossed the line is when he told me straight out that he has the right to judge people based on what they think of my stuff. He thinks he has the right to judge people before he gets to know them. He thinks he can just sit there and judge me like, oh, this person's music's trash, so these people are dumb for liking it. You need to get it through your head, Alan. He's no good, bruh. I'm being straight up honest with you. Unlike him, I'm fucking honest. Okay? Everything I do, I do on my own. I have had zero help at all since day one. I have produced my own music. I have recorded my own shit. I mix and mastered my own shit. I have done all my own album art. I have taught myself everything I fucking know. So don't you dare sit there and say my shit's trash. Okay? Because I work harder than anyone. You don't fucking know what the fuck I've been through. Because I guarantee you, I've been through a lot more hell than that motherfucker could ever think about being through in a whole fucking year than it is his entire life. And that's on you, dude. I don't care what you think of my music. The point is, he judged my friends and family saying that they're shit based off of my music. So what if they like my music? That does not give him any more right to judge them than it gives me the right to judge his friends. I would never do that to him. I would never, ever judge anybody before I get to know them. I didn't I wouldn't care if I liked their music or not. I would still take the time to get another person because honestly, you can't tell anything about anybody by just their music. You have to get to know them. You have to get to fucking know them, dude. And it's not BS, bruh. I have the fucking voice clip. I have fucking screenshots. My friends have screenshots. If you want the proof, I'll send it to you. I can send you that shit. If you don't believe me, fucking try me. I can send you that shit, dude. I have more than enough proof to, you know, back up what I'm saying. But here's the thing, Alan. Here's the thing. He didn't just judge my music. He didn't just do that. He basically judged my friends and family and bashed on them, saying that they are stupid for liking my shit and saying that they're blowing smoke up my ass. Just be nice when that's not true. They genuinely like my work. And I don't give a shit about what you like or don't like. I don't give a fuck. And trust me, I plan to do that, Chad. As a matter of fact, I actually do have a friend... Rayanne Anderson, who I am working with at this point in time. She's actually really good. And also, if you want more proof of my stuff of people like my shit, go on to Star Maker. Look me up. I'm under the name Chance Wilkins. You can look me up. If you want my link, I'll fucking send it to you. I'll record something right now and fucking send you that shit, brah. I do metal vocals as well. And I have fans through the fucking roof on there, bro. So if you don't fucking believe me, try me. And see, and that's not true. That right, he's fucking lying to you, bro. He is not supporting my friends and family. He is doing the exact opposite. And everybody here knows it. Everybody except you can fucking see that, Alan. Everybody except you, bro. I'm being straight up honest with you, man. Unlike his fucking lying ass, I'm being straight up honest with you. And see, and that's and that's fine, dude. I don't care what you think about my music. Do what you want. Say what you want about my music. I don't care. At the end of the day, I'm still going to do me. I'm still going to do what I want. 
and what my fans like, and that's that. I'm going to continue to do what I'm good at. I'm going to continue to do what my fans like and enjoy. And see, and that's where you're wrong, Alan. I got more fucking talent than you could ever hope to have, little motherfucker. You don't know what the fuck I've been through, little boy. You do not know what the fuck I've been through. So don't you dare sit there for a second and think that you know me. Just because I have certain things with music that I, I'll admit, there are certain things in music I do need to work on. I'll admit that. Vocally, I'm not the best. But you know what? Here's the difference. You see, Alan, here's the difference between you and me. Unlike you, I get back up. I keep trying. I keep pushing forward. I keep pushing myself every fucking day of the week. And that's the thing, dude. You don't know what the fuck I've been through. You really don't. So really, what gives you the fucking right to judge me based off my fucking music? Just because you heard one song, that doesn't give me the fucking right to judge. Because at that point, you sound like another fucking mainstream asshole who needs his fucking ass kicked. And if that's the case, I'm glad it would be the one to fucking give it to you. I have no problem with that. I've had to do it my entire life, and I'll fucking do it again without any fucking problem. I don't give a shit. But when it comes to my friends and family, you have no fucking right judging them based off of my fucking music. You have no right, dude. None. So I don't know what got it in your head that it's okay to judge people before you know them just because, you know, you feel my music is shit. What gives you that right to fucking judge me personally and judge my friends and, fr my friends and my family personally based off of one fucking song that you heard, dude? And what up, Christian? How you doing, kiddo? It's been a while. But here's the thing, dude. Here's the thing, Alan. You're falling in line with him, which makes you just as bad. He did. And I have the fucking proof. If you, like I said, if you want the proof, I'll fucking send it to you. No big deal, man. I have no beef with you. If you stop this shit right the fuck now and stop following what he's doing and be your own fucking person and stop following the bullshit that he's doing. And that's just it, dude. I'm not bullying him. He's got it fucking twisted. You got it twisted around, man. I'm not bullying him. He came on to me. Dead fucking honest, man. He came on to me first. Seriously. He could have fucking let it go. He could have. But instead, he decided to take it further and judge my friends and family. And that's when I flipped. The minute he judged my friends and family, that's when I fucking said something. So if anybody's the bully here, it sure is fucking me. Oh, and by the way, you want the real bully? Take a look at your little friend Alexander. He's the bully, not me. And you want to know how I know, dude? I've seen all the fucking comments on my YouTube channels. On both of my channels. Well, actually, just the one, but... You know, I've seen the comments, dude. So you want to talk about being attacked? You want to talk about shit like that? You better go to him. Because he's the one attacking me. I'm sitting here trying to do my work. And create music for those that love it. And do my fucking job as an artist. And put out music. While you and your little fucking friends are sitting there attacking me on fucking YouTube. As well as on Facebook. And don't think I don't fucking see this shit. Don't think I don't fucking see what you're doing. You want the real bullies? You need to look at yourselves. Because honestly, you're no better than he is, Alan. For doing the shit you did on YouTube. For calling me out on YouTube like you did. And you wonder why I have every fucking reason in the goddamn world to fire back at him like I did? So you want to come test me? Bring it. I'll show you what's up. I'm not afraid to stand up for my friends and family. I'm not afraid to do the right thing. 
I tried to be the bigger man and let it go. But y'all motherfuckers wouldn't let it go. Y'all weren't having it. You not only took it too far on Facebook, you then took it from Facebook to YouTube. The one place where I can be myself and do the shit that I love to do. That people actually enjoy me doing. Seriously, the shit needs to end. Y'all need to grow the fuck up and stop acting like childish little fucking brats. And that's the difference between you and your friends and me. Oh, and by the way, Alan, I do have proof of you fucking bullying me. And don't think I'm not going to post that shit up on Facebook for the whole world to see because I am. I've had enough of your fucking bullshit. I've had enough of your shit. I've had enough of every motherfucker up on here and on YouTube bullying me. It needs to fucking stop. Y'all need to grow the fuck up and get a fucking life. Y'all ain't nothing but a bunch of fucking trolling ass, idiotic cyber boys that need to shut the fuck down. Oh, and as for my career, ain't nobody touching my career. My career ain't going anywhere, son. But here's the reason. Here's the reason, dude. I had every fucking reason to because he came at me first. I swear to God, dude, you're like fucking talking to a goddamn brick wall. You're stupid as fuck. Seriously, dude. The only reason I publicly did that is because he blatantly attacked me. And if you don't fucking believe me, try me. I have more than enough proof to prove to you that he fucking attacked me. He attacked my music, which I have no problem with. Because I get attacked all the time for the new styles that I put out that people enjoy. But he blatantly sat there and attacked my friends and family by judging them. And you say, I'm a bully? You best look in the fucking mirror, little boy. Because at the end of the day, I ain't the bully. That's on him and your little fucking friends. And don't think that I'm, like I said, don't think I'm not going to sit there and not post what you guys said to me from the, from YouTube on the Facebook because I am. Because what you're doing is fucked up, dude. It needs to stop. Y'all need to grow the fuck up, let it the fuck go, and get on with your life, dude. Like, seriously. If you don't like my music, don't fucking listen, man. Simple as fucking that. But honestly, you know, from person to person, outside of the artist and music world, I'm being straight up honest with you, Alan. You need to leave this dude behind as a friend because he is no good. Just because you grew up with him does not mean that he's a good person. I've grown up with people my entire life who turned out to be complete shit, which is why I left them behind. Because they tried to tear me down and leave me down a road I don't need to be going down. But honestly, Alan, I'm trying to fucking open up your goddamn eyes. I'm trying to make you see what he's really doing because I see the truth behind what he's fucking doing. I ain't dealt with enough, mother enough motherfuckers like him in my whole entire life to know exactly what he's like. And honestly, Alan, he is not a good friend. And I can prove that to you. The minute that you start supporting my shit is the minute that even if you start showing even the slightest bit of respect towards me, he'll drop you like a fucking hat. Straight the fuck up. So honestly, Alan, you need to man the fuck up, grow a set of fucking balls, and drop this dude as a friend. He is no fucking good. All he is out to do is fucking ruin careers. And he sure as fuck ain't gonna ruin mine because I ain't gonna let it happen. And call me a bully all you want. I don't give a fuck. I'm being honest. If being honest makes me a bully, then so be it. I guess I'm a bully for being fucking honest. But at the end of the day, he ain't me. At the end of the day, he doesn't know what the fuck I've been through. At the end of the day, he still has no right doing what he did. So you need to tell your little friend to stop doing what he fucking did. 
You seriously need to tell him to back the fuck off and leave me alone. And so do you. You need to back off as well, Alan. Because I know what you said to me on my YouTube channel. I'm not fucking dumb or dense. I see what you said. And if you think I'm just going to stand by and lay down and take it, <laughs> well, I got news for you, kid. Not going to happen. Sorry, but it's not going to happen. Like, and honestly, dude, you're like fucking talking to a brick wall. And you know what? After I end this live stream, I'll send you. I will personally send you screenshots that were sent to me, that were taken by me, that were sent to me by my friends, so you have all the motherfucking proof that you need. So you can hear exactly what I'm talking about. So that you can see exactly what the fuck it is that I'm talking about. What up, Sarah? I mean, seriously, man, you need to grow up. And as I said, if me being honest and telling the truth about what really happens, about what really happened, if that makes me a bully, then fine. I guess I'm a fucking bully. Hey, Sarah, what's up? I'm just wondering, who are you talking about? Are you talking about me or Alan? I'm confused. Like, I'm seriously confused. Like, you know, to be honest with you guys, I haven't even been to bed yet because I've been dealing with this fucking dramatic bullshit. Wow, really? Well, you know what, Sarah? That's your opinion. I ain't tweaked out. Seriously, though, I am not tweaked out. I'm perfectly normal. And see, and, you know, to be honest with you, to be honest with you, Sarah, I honestly don't think you have any idea about what really happened. Because, see, at first, he judged my music. Not Alan... But Alexander, he commented on my music saying that he didn't like it. That was fine. You know, I had no problem with that. But before you go talking any more shit, allow me to explain. He commented on my stuff saying that he didn't like it. All right, no big deal. You know, not everybody likes my stuff. But then he not only proceeded to do that, Right after that, he proceeded to sit there and judge my friends and family based off of one song that he heard that he did not like. He basically sat there and said, in a as a whole, like as a you know, as a rundown, of what he basically said. He basically sat there and said. He literally sat there and told me. That because of, you know, just because he thinks that my stuff sucks, that my friends and family were blowing smoke up my ass. He literally told me that, that they were blowing smoke up my ass when they were being legitimately honest. And right after that, he proceeded to publicly humiliate me through via YouTube by taking the video that I had responded with and basically was calling me out. You know, he was basically doing all kinds of fucked up shit. And when he, and I'll admit, in a way, I was a little bit wrong for doing that this publicly like I did, but... He really gave, he gave me every reason to do what I did when he attacked my friends and my family, when he does not know them. So honestly, just by one track, one fucking song that he heard that he didn't like, where does he get that right to judge my friends and family based off of that one fucking song that he heard? He doesn't have that right. Like, I wouldn't judge you guys 
based off of music that I heard by you guys. If you guys did music, I wouldn't judge you guys based off of that. I'd be like, all right, you know, like I'm not too big on your music, but you know, you seem pretty cool. I wouldn't sit there and judge you by your music. That's just wrong. You don't judge anybody before you get to know them. And believe it or not, I did. I actually did block him. But even after I did block him, he took my YouTube channel video and he proceeded to post it all over the web, like on Facebook and everything. And ever since, I've had many people attacking me because of what he has done. So yes, I did do the right thing and blocked him. But he's the one that can't seem to let it go. Him and his little friends kept on attacking me nonstop. And then I'm pretty sure it still hasn't stopped. I have not checked my YouTube in like the last hour. But I guarantee you I go on there, there's going to be even more hateful comments towards me. And I know what he's trying to do. He's basically trying to end my music career, and that's not going to happen. So, Sarah, I do apologize if I came off you know, heavy-handed towards you, but I honestly figured that you should know the truth about what's really going on. He literally had his friends attack me, and I'm pretty sure, like I said, I'm pretty sure they still are. And it's all because I called him out and exposed him for what he really is so that everybody knows to avoid this guy. Yeah, I'll admit I dissed him in a fucking rap track, acapella style, with no beat. But I was only doing what I felt was necessary to defend my friends and my family from this guy. And like I said, if you do want me to, like I'm not being mean, not being hateful or anything. But if you do want proof of all this, I would be more than happy to send you the part of the phone conversation where he did say that he does have the right to judge my friends and family as well as some screenshots sent to me by some of my friends from what they've seen and some of the ones that I've taken myself. I would be more than happy to do that. That is if you would like me to send you that. I have no problem doing that. But honestly though, this bullshit of attacking me even after I let it go hours ago, it needs to stop. Because it's literally, instead of sitting here having to explain myself, I can be fucking recording right now and doing shit that I got to do. And if you would like, Sarah, I can send you the song that he was talking about. I would be more than happy to send it to you. But for him to sit there and not even, you know, like, sit there and say, hey, you know, like, or even apologize for what he did is more the thing. Like, if he would have apologized to me and said, hey, you know, I was wrong in doing what I did, I do apologize, you know, I would have been fine. If he would have apologized to me, I wouldn't have blocked him. Honestly, I feel like I am owed an apology for what he said to me. And yes, I will apologize for what I did, but to a certain extent. I apologize for being harsh, but at the same time, on the flip side of that, I had to defend myself. And calling him out publicly and showing people who and what exactly he is, then, you know, this wouldn't have happened if you would have just let it go. Because like my friend Rayanne, who actually has commented and seen a lot of what's going on, he could have diffused it. He could have ended it right then and there. He could have said, hey, you know, I'm not big on your music, but, you know, I respect you. And, you know, and to let it go. Or he could have just straight out blocked me and said, hey, I don't like your music. You know, I'm not going to bash on you. But instead, he decided to be childish and carry it way out of proportion to what it is now. 
So now because of him, I'll admit, you know, and I've seen some of his connections. And he doesn't have that likely of a chance to end my career. But if it does get to that point, And, and I'll admit, Alan, I was a little bit wrong from doing that. But you also have to try to see things from my side too, man. You have to try to understand I was only doing what I felt was necessary. And I do apologize for doing what I did. But at the same time, I was merely defending myself. I wanted my friends and family to know what this guy is truly about. And the only reason I even bashed on him is because he wouldn't stop the hateful comments. That's the only reason I did what I did. If he wouldn't have put hateful comments and he would have defused the situation right then and there, we wouldn't be in this mess. So all in all, it goes right back around to him. It really does. If he would have let it go and defused the situation, I wouldn't be in this mess. And as I said, you know, as it stands now, I'll admit, I do have a lot of companies looking at me right now. And I mean a lot. A lot of them underground, like Buckshot from MNE, from Magic Ninja Entertainment. I have artists that are big in the underground, keeping, the eye, keeping a very big eye on me. So right now, he pretty much is putting my career in jeopardy. And everybody in the underground who has heard my music, everybody from Buckshot to those guys who enjoy my music, they're going to see this and they're going to question it. So here's my solution slash deal for you, Alan. You get him to call everything that he's doing to me off. You tell him to... Make a statement apologizing to me and you send it to me like, you know, he sends it to you and then you send it to me. Then I will apologize for the diss track that I put out on him and I'll even do one better. I'll even take it down. That is my deal to you. You get him to apologize to me for what he said about having the right to judge my friends and family. I'll take it down. I'll take that diss track down. And I'll take the video down. But that's the only way I'll do it. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. That is the only way I will do it. So, you know. And as I said, you know, right now he's basically put my career as a potential big underground music artist at risk. And that's not very fair to me. You know, instead of sitting here wasting my time, having to explain myself, I could be working on shit that I got to do to, you know, put out. But instead, I'm stuck here explaining myself and what really happened last night. And is that fair to me? No. Is that fair to my friends and family? No. Is that fair to my friends who have fans that like my work? No. Is that fair to any of my fans or anybody in general that enjoys my stuff? No. That's not fair to anybody. So as I said, you get him to send you an apology to me about bashing on my friends and family and basically saying that they're stupid for like my son, that they were blowing smoke on my ass, I will publicly, I will come on here publicly and apologize. And I'll take down the diss track that I did this morning, and I'll take down the video from yesterday. But that's the only way I will even consider doing it. So you get him to send you an apology to me, you screenshot that shit, and you send it to me, and I will post it up on Facebook for everyone to see. No picking sides whatsoever. I will post that up, and I will personally apologize. But that's the only way I will do it.
So until that happens, not going to happen. And you can tell him to take what he supposedly can do to my career, saying that he can end it. You can tell him to take it and shove it up his ass. The reason why I say that, because nobody has ever ended my career before, and it sure as hell ain't going to stop now. I'm not going to let that happen. Nobody has ended my career, and it's not going to start. You can ask anybody who's known me since day one musically, who has seen me progress from a small-time, shitty-ass, wannabe beatmaker to producing for some pretty big underground names like Young Fox. Who I am currently producing an album for. I'm working on his King of All mixtape with him, which will be released here real soon. So I am working with a few big names. Even though I might not get paid right away, I'm still working with them and working my way up. I had to work my ass off every fucking day of my life. 24-7 on zero sleep just to get where I'm at. And when I mean zero sleep, I literally mean zero sleep. There have been days where I am gone three to four days, no sleep. And if I did, it was like maybe one to two hours. And a shit ton of coffee and a ton of fucking energy drinks. Just honing my skill and crafting what I'm good at now. Because like I said, I do multiple styles. I do melodic scream vocals. I do dubstep. I did that punk rock song just to, you know, kind of, you know, expand a little bit and kind of test the waters. As well as doing rap and hip hop beats. As well as some classical work. So I do various styles. You can't sit there and judge a person based on one specific style of music. That's like, judging me is like judging Linkin Park on their music. They've done many styles over the years. And look at where they're at. They're one of the biggest fucking bands on the planet. You know, and, you know, definitely, you know, God rest his soul to Chester Bennington, who was their lead vocalist who passed in July. And honestly, Linkin Park is one of my biggest influences. But for him to judge me based off of my friends and saying they're saying that my friends are stupid for liking my music, that is beyond wrong on every level. But as I said, if you get him to send me an apology, then I will apologize. I'll take down the track and I'll take down the video, but that's the only way I'll do it. That is the only way I'll apologize is if he sends an apology to me first. That's the only way I'll do it. But until that happens, not going to happen. But I hope this kind of shed a little bit more light for you guys on what really happened last night. Yes, I'll admit I was a little bit wrong in what I did, but you also got to understand I was merely defending myself and my friends and my family. That's all I was doing. And if I'm a bully for that and I'm wrong with that, so be it. I apologize. I apologize for the way I did it. But what I won't apologize for is actually standing up for my friends and family. I would ne I can never apologize for that. Because I have some of the best friends, family, and honestly, some of the best fans in the world. And if you guys don't like my music, that's fine. I have nothing against you for that. You know, to each their own. There are certain styles of music that some people like that I'm not big on. And, you know, but I don't judge them based off of it. We're still good friends. As I said, though, he could have diffused it. He really could have. But the minute that he talked shit about my friends and family, that's when he crossed the line. Right after he did that, 
that's when I went on the offensive and I fought back. So before you go judging me or the situation, get your facts straight first. Because I do have my facts straight. I really do. And if you want proof of those facts, message me and I'll let you, I'll let you know the facts. I'll send you the proof. But with that being said, I got no more time to waste on this subject. All I got to say is y'all need to grow the fuck up, get over it, and let the fuck go. That's all I got to say because I don't have motherfucking time to waste on this shit. Like, dude, we done wasted fucking 40, 45, 46 minutes on this subject because certain people don't know how to grow up. They don't know how to stop being a fucking troll and grow the fuck up and get on with their lives because they got nothing better to do. But with that being said, guys, I'm out of here. As I said, y'all motherfuckers need to grow the fuck up and let this shit go like I did last night. With that being said, I'm out.